safi karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu mimi na tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa jamani nataka niweke hii clear kabisa kwamba ukiwaona UDA ukiwaona hawa Kenya kwanza wana wabembeleza azimio la umoja au wanawakaribia azimio la umoja au wanapunguza sasa ton sauti na namna ambavyo wana behave basi jua kuna kitu ambacho wamekiona au wanakitaka kwa azimio la umoja twende direct kabisa mpaka kwenye point yetu so daily nation monday october 16 2023 nataka nikusomee tena kwa utaratibu kabisa uelewe kitu ambacho kinaendelea hapa by rushide uh, odia but lakini hapo juu kumeandikwa ruto kino working with raila so tunaanza hapa uh, by rushide odia hapa sasa Head of Public Service Felix Koskei has said that President William Ruto is keen to work with opposition leader Raila Odinga in future political formations. In what appeared to be an attempt to extend an olive branch to Mr Odinga. Mr Koskei, a close ally of the president, said the Luo and Kalenjin communities had no choice but to work together. He likened the relationship between the two ethnic groups to that of Siamese twins our relationship and bond is god sent and goes back more than 1000 years and that is why we may disagree but eventually we come together mr koskei said he explained that the two communities are nilots with almost similar languages and the fact that they have been neighbors for long time trading fish crops and milk together depicts their independence I do not want to talk much because of my position but you already understand what I am saying let us be one and work together said Mr Koske Mr Koske pointed out that he and other government official had been instructed by the president to develop every corner of the country without discrimination and, regard, and regardless of how they voted in 2022 and their political affiliation na story kaendelea kikubwa tayari ushaelewa ni nini wanajaribu kufanya hapa au ni ujumbe gani anajaribu kupitisha hapa huyu uh, Koskei hao ni watu wake wa karibu sana William Samuel Ruto swali so, la kwanza je yeah, baba atakubali kufanya kazi na William Samuel Ruto and anachokisema hapa Koskei kwa namna moja au nyingine hai make sense kwa sababu kama mna relationship nzuri wa Kalenjin pamoja na Wajaluo then kwa nini ni wakale njini wanawapiga wajaluo why kwa nini kwa nini hiyo inatokea so hiyo hiyo relationship nzuri ni hiyo relationship nzuri ni ya kupigana au ni ni relationship nzuri ya aina gani uwezo kutuambia kwamba yeye Ruto anapenda wajaluo eti kwa sababu ni mkale njini eti kwa sababu wakale njini wamekuwa kipendana na wajaluo kwa sababu wamekuwa kifanya biashara za maziwa nyama na vitu kama hivyo no ambacho tumekuwa tukiona ni uadui in fact sasa hivi mtu ambaye yupo Kisumu, Siaya, uh, Migori, Homa Bay anaweza akakwambia namna ambavyo anamchukia William Samuel Ruto sio kumchukia tu ana sababu watu wengi hapa walikufa hapa Kisumu tunajua ni nini iliwaua polisi waliwapiga nini risasi wakati wanapigwa risasi tuseme hata basi Ruto hakutoa oda akuambia polisi kwamba nendeni mkafanya kitu fulani fulani but ni kitu ambacho kimefanyika siku nyingi sana yeye yeah, akiwa president na anaangalia ana tu hakuna kitu ambacho alifanya like you know kuacha ni komesha bwana vita hii ambayo inaendelea people were killed watu walikuwa na uwawa kinyama cha ajabu ni kwamba William Samoei Ruto alikuwa mtu wa kwanza kusifu maafisa wa polisi a, a kama nitakuwa na, na, na danganya basi wote utanirekebisha Ruto ndo alikuwa mtu wa kwanza kabisa kusema polisi you've done a good job tunashukuru sana mtu tawakalia nitawakalia nitawafanyia nini na mambo kama hayo at the end of the day Ruto leo anachukiwa sana na wajaluo kwa sababu ya kilichotokea. Wajua Ruto anaweza kaa anaona anaenda si haya anaenjoy anacheka na watu. Lakini haimaanishi kwamba hawa watu wamesahau au ni wajinga kiasi cha kwamba hawawezi wakaona kilichotokea nyuma. Wanamwangalia tu wana yaani wanamwangalia ushai ushai kuambia ushai kuona mtu ambaye anakuona mjinga. So inabidi wewe ujifanye mjinga ili ya yeah, onekane bora but deep down unajua vizuri kabisa huyu ni mtu ambaye hatupendi na nachukia. So tukiambiwa hapa eti Ruto anataka kufanya kazi na Raila Odinga ama na Wajaluo, mimi sijaielewa kabisa hiyo point. 
mpaka siku atawafanyia vitu fulani wa jaluo ambavyo vinaonekana na ni vitu ambavyo tunaweza kusema kweli amebadilisha mawazo yake amebadilisha namna ambavyo amekuwa akiwaona wajaluo na amebadilisha namna ambavyo amekuwa akiwa treat hawa wajaluo so issue ya siku kusema au tufanyeni kazi sisi na nini hiyo ni kazi ambayo haipo kwa sababu sisi kazi ambayo tumekuwa tukiona tangu William Samoruto anaingia kwenye ofisi ni kuakalia wajaluo namna ambavyo amekuwa akisema kuwapiga na wengine kuwawa ukweli ndio utabaki kuwa kitu kikubwa kabisa ambacho inabidi watu wazungumze ili twende mbele vizuri tusidanganyane hapa ati hey, mtu anapenda anataka kufanya kazi ah hapana hapana na siku zote ukiona Ruto ndo anakuchagua i mean anakuchagulia kitu cha kufanya basi jua ni yeye yeah, ni namna gani ata benefit hata kwenye mazungumzo haya alisema mimi naweza nikawa hapa tu office of the official opposition leader hey ikawa unajua unajua azimio nao walicheza chini eh wakasema it's okay acha tujifanye wajinga tusikilize ni nini wanasema angalia vitu vyote ambavyo wao wanavitaka hakuna hata moja azimio wamesema hatutaki oh zote kabisa au wote kabisa hapo kwenye azimio wamekubaliana na hivyo vitu vyao yani wamekubali yani wa discuss pale lakini wao waangalie vizuri saba hawataki kwa sababu wanajua waliiba Commissioners wanataka Ruto ndo achague na watu wengine ofuchi ya iwezekani. Swala la political parties na nini na nini Ruto leo hii watu naona kabisa wanaongea kwenye bipartisan kwamba wanasiasa warusi kuruka ruka toka hapa naenda kule toka hapa naenda kule. Ama kama wataruka basi waondolewe kwenye hizi nafasi wazitafute nafasi mpya na yule mtu ambao wanatembea naye. But jioni utamwona Ruto naye amekaa na wale viongozi wengine. Sasa hiyo love yake hiyo love yao ambao wanaiongelelea ya Kalenjin na Wajaluo hiyo hiyo love iko wapi nyie mnaiona hiyo love same gani au mimi ndo sijui siangalii na sioni Najua mtu atanambia eh hey, in politics people you know they can work in politics hakuna adui in politics okay sawa in politics hakuna wadui but wewe na in politics hakuna wadui wako wewe kilichotokea huu kioni ni kitu cha kusema eti it's okay tu tunaweza tukaendelea kufanya kazi na watu wameuawa kiasiko. Aa kilichotokea nyie mnaifurahia ndo swali ambalo mimi inabidi niwaulize. Nyie ambao mnasema eti oh na nini na nini politics watu wa sio na nini. Huyu the same unajua watu wao anashangaa sana na watu. Nyie watu mliona vizuri Raila gari lake limepigwa risasi. Na mmeona kabisa Raila akizungumzia ishu hiyo. Ni ikawa anasema kwamba Ruto anataka kumuua na nyie wenyewe mmeona akisema hiyo nguvu ya kusema kwamba uh, in politics hakuna wadui nyie mnaionaga wapi? Ah nyie ingekuwa ni politics ya kwamba you know nitupie maneno ni kutupie maneno lakini tukikutana na mambo yanaenda yana vizuri. It's okay. But uweze ukaniambia in politics hakuna wadui wakati mtu anapiga mtu risasi. Wakati mtu anaua watu wa watu wengine. Ama watu wa mtu mwingine. Hiyo 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 hapana. Ama ama hiyo ndo ama hiyo nyie ndo mnaiona kama ndo kabisa kufanya kazi pamoja. Me yeah, I don't trust that. So ukiona hao watu wanakuja hivi karibu, jua kuna kitu anatafuta. Kuna kitu anatafuta na Raila anajua hawezi akakubali this time round. Hawezi akakubali kwa sababu hao ni watu ambao wanageuka. Ni vigeugeu, yani unaweza ukawa umekaa nao hapo unawaambia ABCD, ndio kabisa wanaenda kukuchafua nayo huko nje. Sio kama unanipata, wametuweka tunaishi yani maisha fulani ambayo yani Yaani sio anataka tuone nini. Mtu anaweza kaa anashambulia huo mtu anashambulia anashambulia from nowhere mtu anakwambia you know kwa sasa kuna wadui kwa sasa kwa eh kwa sasa kuna wadui na watu wanakufa. Yaani hiyo ndo hiyo ndo mnasema urafiki. <laughs> bana nyie wacheni. Ah wacheni hizo stories bana. Wacheni kabisa hizo stories. So sasa hivi wana hizo missions zao hawa watu. Ya kwanza wanataka Azimio wapoteze hii relationship ambao wanayo na watu. Wachukulie sasa azimio kama wasaliti kwa sababu gani? Na mimi tarudia unaona kwenye mazungumzo haya eti oh official position leader sio nini hiyo ofisi. Nakwambia hiyo ofisi watatumia. Of course tunashukuru Mungu Raila hawezi akaikubali. Hiyo ni niko sure. Kuikubali hiyo itakuwa ni blanda moja hivi kubwa sana. Na itakuwa ni okay kwa upande wa azimio unaweza ukaichukulia kama kitu kizuri you know we will use it to saidia na watu wengine na nini na mambo kama haya lakini deep down wao wanajua hii ndo silaha 
ya kumpiga Raila Odinga na akina uh, Kalonzo Musyoka kwa sababu tuli wa, wataambia sasa wananchi tuliwaambia hawa watu si tu kwamba wanawatetea si tu kwamba wanawapenda si tu kwamba wanawapigania mnaona tuliwapa ofisi leo hii wana enjoy tunawalipa mshahara tumewapea magari tumwambia wakae hapo ama ujawahi wewe unavyowaona hawezi wakazungumza kauli kama hiyo wana uwezo wa kuizungumzia hivyo hivyo kwamba unaona mimi au unaona sisi tumewapa ofisi walipiga kelele wakapiga kelele ah mwisho siku tukaona ah tuwape ofisi wakae hapo wapange pange mambo yao mambo yaende sawa kama nitakuwa na danganya utanirekebisha mtazamaji wangu and that's what's going on ndio kitu ambacho kinafanyika sasa hivi so azimio watakiri yani hao watu kwa eti eti tunataka kufanya kazi wanataka wawalete karibu azimio wakishawaleta karibu wawadanganye 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 ionekane wewe unataka kufanya kazi pamoja na viti vikiwalemea waanze kusema ni hao walikuja kwenye serikali ni hao walifanya nini ni hao walituzuia ni wao waliingia wakaanza tu, wakaanza kusema tu. in fact the best way ni wacha wapambane wa felki vyao wakisha felki vyao tungoje mwaka 2027 watu kama wataenda nyumbani waende nyumbani that's it eti ye issue yani azimio wafai kabisa hata kukutana na watu eti yosi yani hata kwenye kutoa ushauri bora tu kura zitalindwa vizuri hawa watu ni kunyumba ni nyumbani wanaenda unanipata sawa hebu nipe maoni yako um, hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye